the University of Oxford scientists have uncovered a gene that doubles the risk of lung failure and death from the disease. Now they say that 60% of people from South Asian backgrounds, but only 15% of people of European ancestry carry the high risk version of the gene. Now vaccines, they say, are key and help significantly reduce these risks. Well, I've been speaking to one of the authors of the research, Professor James Davis, to find out how this gene can impact the lungs. It, this is a, a relatively unstudied gene. It's called LZTFL1. And to put it simply, what it does is it causes a vulnerability to the lung uh, in people who have the higher risk genotype. And that makes them more susceptible to getting COVID-19. And when they do get it, it makes them more susceptible to getting severe respiratory failure. And that is a huge difference. You say that 60% uh, of people of South Asian ancestry carry this gene, whereas only 15% of white European people have it. That's correct. But actually 15% is quite common. And what's really interesting is that this gene is actually very uncommon in some other populations. So it's relatively rare in people with African ancestry and people from the Far East. So they, they would only have around 2% of the population carrying it. Now, does this explain wholly or partly explain the impact that the pandemic has had on the subcontinent, but also on South Asian communities elsewhere in the world? No, I don't think that we're trying to say that. Um, this particular effect has to be taken into context. So age has got a huge effect on coronavirus outcomes, and there are a huge number of socioeconomic factors that will also play a really important role. So this is only part of the puzzle, but it is quite an important effect because 50% of the population uh, in the Indian subcontinent have got this particular high risk version of the gene, and they will have an additional 50% risk of dying from uh, coronavirus as a consequence of it. Right, and hearing that news, if you are of a South Asian background, how alarming should it be? I mean, what could be of a comfort? What do you do about this once you know? Yeah, so actually this is probably a good news story overall because what we found is that the effect affects the lung. And so people should respond to vaccines who've got the higher risk genotype. And all of these studies were only able to identify this in unvaccinated populations. So overall, it, it's a good news story, really. Providing people get vaccinated, it should can completely cancel out this genetic effect. Right, and, and that, obviously that's a huge if. If people are able to get vaccinated, it just, just reinforces the need and the importance of vaccinations as far as you are concerned. That's absolutely right. So we know that vaccination um, has around a 20-fold reduction in your chances of dying from coronavirus, and this effect doubles your chances of dying. So it's hugely overcome by vaccination. Right. And, and just tell us a little more about the gene and how it acts within the lung. What, what exactly is different about a person carrying this gene in the way that their lungs react to COVID? Yeah, so the first thing to say is that this was actually a very difficult genetic signal to pull apart, and, and that's where our specialisation came in. So together with my collaborators, Jim Hughes and, and a very talented scientist, Damien Downs, what we use is a combination of artificial intelligence to identify which cell type the effect was happening in. And then we used a new technique that I developed in my laboratory, um, which looks at the structure of DNA um, on a really, really, um, a really, really high resolution and unprecedented detail. And that allowed us to link this signal to this gene LZTFL1. We don't really know exactly how LZTFL1 causes more severe coronavirus, but what we think happens is that the gene level is kept slightly higher in people with the higher risk um, uh, allele. And um, what that does is it prevents the cells in the lungs from undergoing a process where they become less specialized in response to the infection. And when the cells become less specialized, they become less vulnerable to um, coronavirus infection. And so by keeping the cells in a sort of normal state for slightly too long, um, the lung becomes uh, more susceptible to infection than normal. Right, very briefly, if you will, Professor Davis, uh, how much further does this take us in our understanding of what coronavirus COVID does to the body? So it's a small piece in the jigsaw. It's, coronavirus is hugely complicated in terms of the effects that it has on the body. Um, and so, so, but it is a really important 
um, discovery because this is the strongest genetic signal and it identifies a new pathway in the lung that causes more severe disease and that hasn't previously been studied. That's Professor James Davis of the University of Oxford.